Okay, friends, so Moses asked to see God's glory, and he's got the blank, uh, the blanks, tablets, God writes on them with his own finger. And we come to Exodus 34, verses 5 to 9, and here's what happens. Moses is there in Mount Sinai with God, and check it out. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood there with him as he called upon the name of the Lord. Then the Lord passed by in front of him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in loving kindness and truth, who keeps loving kindness for the thousands, who forgives iniquity, transgression, and sin, yet he will by no means leave the guilty unpunished, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children and on the grandchildren to the third and fourth generations. Moses made haste to bow low toward the earth and worship. He said, If now I have found favor in your sight, O Lord, I pray, let the Lord go along in our midst, even though the people are so obstinate, and pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us as your own possession. So Moses gets to see God's glory. We talked about that the last couple of mornings, and now it happens. Moses is going to bring the Ten Commandments. They won't be shattered this time. It's all coming. This is going into the ark that's being built. And so, yeah, here we have it. So the Lord stood there, passed by, and gave his name. So what is God's name? Well, God's name is his character. It's what he's like. And so we see it here in the text. He, he has kindness. He is gracious. He's slow to anger. He's compassionate. And those who are guilty, those who refuse to repent, right? Those who cling to and, and uh, strengthen themselves in sin, they're setting themselves in opposition to God and wait and see how that works out. It won't be good. Sin is so toxic, the universe cannot have that. It cannot continue in this universe. God is working to get us out of the sin issue so we can walk with him, he can, so he can walk in our midst. So friends, God is good, and he passes by Moses, and Moses hears his God's name proclaimed, and we just heard about some of those traits. We talked before, back when in Exodus 20, about this part about visiting the iniquity on the fathers and the sons of the next generation, etc. I'm going to just refer you back to that instead of expanding on that here. Uh, but here I just think it's really very neat that God passes by and tells Moses, this is who I am, this is what I am, this is the best way to express it in words, patient, and so on, all these uh, character attributes that God puts as he walks and shows Moses who he is. Notice that God's character attributes, that's something for you and I as well. We want to know what they are. We want to be, you know, if he's long-suffering, I want to be long-suffering. If he's compassionate, I want to be compassionate. If he's merciful, I want to be merciful. If he refuses to engage in, uh, you know, sin and just allow sin to just, then I want to be refusing to engage in sin. Okay? So it's actually kind of simple there, uh, and we want to be like him. He is our God. We are his people. Come on, don't you get it? And yet we, we falter sometimes and we say, what's wrong, don't I get it? But the righteous man falls, but he gets up again and in the power of Jesus, he seeks again to overcome. Don't be discouraged, don't let the devil throw discouragements to you. If you have faltered in, on your walk with the Lord, stop, or to stop moping and moaning, be repentant, tell God you're sorry, please transform me, get up and, and go on forward again and let's be in God's, uh, seeking God's character likeness in ourselves. God will bless that. God is very long-suffering. He's very patient. He wants us in. And oftentimes we just kind of throw up our hands and fail and say, oh, it's too late, it's too late. God can't take me. I've messed myself up too badly. I, that's not really true, friend. God, if you have any inkling, any desire for righteousness in you today, that's a sign that God is calling you. He's calling you up higher. Don't lose hope. Instead, take hope. Take courage. Jesus is for you. Friend, have a beautiful day with Jesus. See you tomorrow.